Welcome to the channel. The video is going about the history of Amaryllis flowers. Amaryllis flower. Genus is in subtribe Amaryllidini, in the tribe Amaryllidae. The taxonomy of the genus has been controversial. In 1753 Carl Linnaeus created the name Amaryllis belladonna, the type species of the genus Amaryllis. At the time both South African and South American plants were placed in the same genus, subsequently they were separated into two different genera. The key question is whether Linnaeus's type was a South African plant or a South American plant. If the latter, Amaryllis would be the correct name for the genus Hippistrum, and a different name would have to be used for the genus discussed here. Alan W., Miro et al. have briefly summarized the debate, which took place from 1938 onwards and involved botanists on both sides of the Atlantic. The outcome was a decision by the 14th International Botanical Congress in 1987 that Amaryllis L. should be a conserved name, i.e. correct regardless of priority, and ultimately based on a specimen of the South African Amaryllis belladonna from the Clifford Herbarium at the Natural History Museum in London. 5. In areas of its native habitat with mountainous feinbos flowering tends to be suppressed until after bush fires as dense overhead vegetation prevents growth. In more open sandy areas of the Western Cape, the plant flowers annually. 2. Plants tend to be very localized in dense concentrations due to the seed's large size and heavy weight. Strong winds shake loose the seeds, which fall to ground and immediately start to germinate, aided by the first winter rains. 2. Amaryllis belladonna was introduced into cultivation at the beginning of the 18th century. It reproduces slowly by either bulk division or seeds and has gradually naturalized from plantings in urban and suburban areas throughout the lower elevations and coastal areas in much of the west coast of the U.S. since these environments mimic their native South African habitat. Hardiness Zone 6, 8, 13.